Welcome to Atlas Field Engineer's Java Scheduling. If this is the first time you're using Java for Atlas, please go to your inbox. You should have gotten an email from us with a link to the Java website. By clicking this, you'll be asked to create a password for your Java account. Make sure to write this down for future reference. Java works on any of the PC browsers as well as your portable devices. It is a good idea to bookmark this website on all your devices and web browsers. Once you're logged in, please go to the calendar view monthly or weekly. There you will be seeing events that are color coded. You will see company events such as office closings or any other tips, but your jobs should be in different colors such as green, pink, black, anything that does not stand out like white or red. Also your jobs should have a time slot assigned to them and you should see a time in that box along with your first initial, last name, and the customer initiating the job. Completed or cancelled jobs will be marked through. You can browse the calendar in weekly or monthly view, but we, rec we recommend monthly view for visibility. We ask the technicians that they put unavailable time on the job calendar for days where they know they will be unavailable. To put new available time on the calendar, click on the correct month, the correct day, and then you will see a pop-up showing new basic task or new calendar event. Never choose new calendar event. These are company-wide notices. You want to avoid these. Click on new basic task to create a new unavailable time slot. In the new basic task, enter the title, your first initial, last initial, uh, sorry, your first initial, last name, and the word unavailable. Please spell unavailable correctly, as this will color code the, the box for everyone in the company. Don't put anything in detail, and make sure it is assigned to the correct person, in other words, you. You can mark these newest basic tasks for multiple days. For example, if you want to be available the entire weekend, you can put the start, in, start date in as the first day of the weekend and date the last day of the weekend. If you're only unavailable for part of the day, you can uncheck the all day box and put in start and end date. I mean start and end time, sorry. In case you're out of time, it is a good habit to to put in the zip code as well in the title next to your first initial last name in a word unavailable. This will bring to attention to scheduling that you are that you are available that day, only part of that day and around that zip code. You can use the repeat drop down to mark unavailable for regular periods. You can go as far as doing repeat daily event or every other day or same day of the week every time for a long period of time or same day of the month for several months or a more complicated package through the monthly frequency. Play around with these to see what best fits you if you have a repeat occurrence. Once Atlas gets a job for you, we will put it in Jobber and you will see an email in your inbox. We always check the calendar to make sure you're available that day. And in the same day or next day jobs, we will contact you first before we put it in the calendar. In other words, any job we will get two days ahead from now, in other words, two business days ahead from now, we will automatically put in Jobber if you are not marked as unavailable. Again, if it's the same day job or next day job, we will always call you. You will always get an email once the job is created in Jobber with a link that will take you straight to that job. Once you go to one of your jobs, it is a good habit to make sure that all the information is incorrectly we should be putting in it correctly, but we are human and we make errors.